Hi everyone, I'm Lee Shiras along with Andy Gerst of Tennis Warehouse. Today we're talking about tennis grips, an important piece of equipment. It is, after all, the connection to the racket. You need to get that right. Andy, what are some of the different options for players when it comes to grips? There's lots of options out there depending on what your personal preference is. A very popular choice are tacky grips that right out of the box or right out of the wrapper. They offer a good tack and a good connection to the racket. If you sweat a lot though, that tack may wear off quickly and thus you might want something that's a little drier a little bit more absorbent, or even grips that have perforations built in for better ventilation. Lastly, leather grips have been around for a long time. They help add weight to the handle of the racket if you want to give it a more headlight feel. They offer a very traditional, responsive feel. Yeah, I like the leather grips. Uh, along the same lines, equally important, what size grips should players have? Ultimately, like we always say, it comes down to personal preference, but there's a good test that you can do to make sure you're right around the proper grip size. Take the racket with a continental grip and place your index finger in between your hand there on the grip. And if that index finger fits perfectly, then you're right around the right area where you should be with the grip. But if there's too big of a space, where there's lots of space in between your finger, or if there's not enough space, then you may want to look for a different grip size. All right, well go to tenniswarehouse.com for more information about grips. I've got a learning center so you can get your grip on your tennis game. I'm Leaf. he's Andy. We'll see you next time.